got your next workout right here behind me. Let's get to it. So we're gonna kick off today with some 20, 10 work. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Four rounds, four exercises. Moving in between each exercise for those four rounds, all right? At the end of that final exercise, take 20 seconds of rest, and then you come right back to the top, all right? Otherwise, it's just 10 seconds in between each exercise. So, let's check out our exercises for this 2010. We are going to start with a crawl out to a shoulder tap. So we're gonna stay in that low, crouched, squatted position, crawl your way out, in that high plank position, tap those shoulders, come back, to that starting position. Don't stand up, but stay in that squatted, crouched position there, okay? Second exercise, we've got a lateral shuffle. So we're just moving side to side, replacing that foot each time in that middle. So it's not skaters, it's not shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. It's just one, two, three, and four, all right? Touching that ground in between. The goal there is just to move quick side to side, okay? Your third exercise here, we've got a kneel to squat. We just did this the other day. You're gonna start on both knees, swing one leg up and then the other leg, stay in that squatted position and then come back. If you want to switch legs each time, you can, or you can switch legs that lead leg each round, all right? Well, we wanna make sure to switch that up each time we do it. Then your fourth and final exercise of our first part here is gonna be a plank saw. So two ways to do this, either on our forearms or in that high plank position, just bringing that body forward and back just a little bit, all right? So adding a little twist to our normal plank there, but just that plank saw moving forward and back. So 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. You've got four rounds. Don't forget to have that 20 seconds of rest at the very end of each round to gather that energy up and then start back again. All right, go get it. So our circuit today, super excited about this one, 45 second rounds back to back. You've got an A and a B exercise at each station, all right? These ones are geared to just keep your heart rate up. In between stations, so you're gonna finish station one. In between stations, it is entirely up to you, either 20 seconds, 25, or 30 seconds of rest, all right? That 10 second difference between that 20 and 30 may not seem like a big deal, but I promise you, it is. Okay, so 45 seconds of A, 45 seconds of B, and then either 20, 25, or 30 seconds rest, and then move to that next station, okay? So, let's check this out. What we've got with these 45 second rounds, it is a circuit, so moving from station to station, three total rounds for this part. All right, so as I said before, each station has an A and a B exercise, so let's look at each station and each of these exercises. Station one, with either, if you have a bench, or stairs in your house, we've got stairs, all right? Just bringing those feet up quickly, up, up, down, down on those stairs, okay? From stairs, your B exercise, you're gonna grab one center mass or dumbbell, hold it right by our shoulder, other arm goes out. We're gonna go down into a squat, and then as we come up, we drive that dumbbell or center mass towards the ceiling, and then come right back down. The goal there, making sure we keep that core tight. We don't want that dumbbell to take us either side. We wanna stay right up and drive that up as we come out of that squat position. So that's your first station. Second station, your A exercise is a broad jump to half burpee. So we wanna gather our energy, kick those hips and hands back and forward. The goal isn't up and over, but we wanna try and get just forward, go down into that half burpee, so no jump, no push up there, and then we wanna back pedal to where we started. So that could be three steps, four steps, five steps, depending on how far you jump. So we've got that broad jump, land, go into that half burpee, come back up, back pedal, reset, and then do it again. Your B exercise at this station, you're gonna grab two dumbbells or center masses and we've got a bent over row. So hinge at the hips a little bit, keep that core engaged. We wanna bring those elbows in, pinch those shoulder blades, and then right back down. Now with 45 second rounds, we can move a little bit faster than if we were going into those every minute on the minute exercises, all right? So we wanna try and keep that heart rate up, but you find your pace as you get through these exercises, all right? Your third station, you'll be on your back. We're gonna lift those hips up, squeeze those glutes together with two center masses or dumbbells. We've got a chest press while we are going to be in a hip bridge, all right? So that's gonna be our bridge press there. Let those elbows touch the ground just for a hot second and then drive those dumbbells or center masses up towards the ceiling. 
And then your B exercise here, we're gonna flip over into that high plank position. We're gonna bring in those knees, but we're gonna tap those toes alternating each time, okay? Try and keep that butt from coming up too much, keep that core engaged, try and keep that back and neck in line as we tap those toes for that B exercise. And then finally, your last station here, your A on this one is going to be a dumbbell snatch. So it's just gonna be one arm here. So starting with that palm facing in, arm out, we're gonna bring it up over our head, almost like you are zipping up a coat and then coming right back down, okay? So you've got that dumbbell snatch. Now stay same arm for 45 seconds. And then second round, you'll go to the other arm. Your third round, you'll go half and half, okay? So full arm first round of that arm. Second, arm, second round will be your other arm, and then third round will split half and half, all right? And then finally, your B exercise, your last one here, is going to be drop squat. So alternating which hand touches the floor as you go into that drop squat, okay? So 45 seconds of A, 45 seconds of B, and then you get to choose your rest between 20 and 30 seconds before you start that second station, and then third and fourth. You've got three full rotations to get through for today's circuit, all right? All right, your finisher for today, we've got three exercises, no timer set. So as soon as you finish that last exercise, you are done for the day. So your three exercises are, you've got 50 squats. From those 50 squats, you will move into 50 climbers. Now that will be total reps, okay? So as you go each leg, one, two, three, four, and five, it's not 50 left leg, 50 right leg, that would be 100. We're going 50 total, okay? 50 total on those climbers. And then, in a seated upright position, you've got L sit-ups. Now the goal with these L sit-ups are very different here. Your goal is to keep that core tight, roll that back on the ground, and then use that core strength to come back into that seated position, keeping our hands right by our chest as we roll back and then come up into that seated position. Very different feel from crunches, sit-ups with someone kind of holding your feet down. This is all your core strength on these L sit-ups and you've got 25 of those, all right? Great job for today. We will see you soon. Do not forget to check back in on Sunday for your next Metcon challenge. Thanks to everybody that's been sending me their times, their complaints. I, I feel the eye rolls. I may not see them in person, but I feel the eye rolls and the anger over some of these, but guess what? You got better with that, all right? Keep finding your fears. We will see you all very, very soon.